The UNP was founded by Don Stephen Senanayaka in 1946 by amalgamating three right-leaning pro-Dominion parties from the majority Sinhalese community and minority Tamil and Muslim communities. Was at the forefront in the struggle for independence from the United Kingdom, having resigned from the Ceylon National Congress because he disagreed with its revised aim of the achieving of freedom from the British Empire. Due to his agricultural policies, many landless people were relocated under productive colonization scheme which resulted in Sri Lankan agricultural production rising. As a result, D.S. Senanayaka is considered the father of the nation. In 1953, the UNP attempted to reduce the rice ration resulting in the 1953 Hartal, which caused Dudley Senanayaka to resign. He was succeeded by his cousin, Colonel Sir John Katelawala, who launched several major power generation and infrastructure projects. These include the Lakshapana Hydropower Project, Bambalapatiya Housing Project which provided houses to the homeless, modernizing of the Ratmalana Airport, construction of the Kelania Bridge, and the development of Buddhist religious sites. When passed the controversial Sinhala Only Act, which led to communal clashes in 1958. Dudley Senanayaka retook party leadership and the UNP again came to power briefly for three months in 1960 and again in 1965, in coalition with the Mahajana Exath Peramuna, the Tamil Ethnic Federal Party under Dudley Senanayaka, but it lost in a 1970 landslide to the SLFP, which had formed an electoral alliance with Marxist parties known as the United Front. A bitter leadership battle soon developed between the populist Dudley Senanayaka and the more conservative J.R. Jayawardena, a strong supporter of free market policies and a pro-American foreign policy. For the latter, he was called Yankee Dicky. After Dudley Senanayaka's death in 1973, J.R. Jayawardena became the leader of the UNP and started reorganizing the party at the grassroots level. General disaffection with the economic policies of the United Front Coalition and its brutal crackdown against a 1971 Marxist-Leninist insurrection by the JVP, as well as promises to provide each person with a free ration of 8 kilograms of cereal, brought the UNP to power in 1977. The party won an unprecedented five-sixths of the seats in Parliament. J. R. Jayawardena was elected president by Parliament and, in 1978, introduced a new constitution which transformed the presidency into an executive post with sweeping powers. Jayawardena retired in 1988 and was succeeded by Prime Minister Ranasinghe Premadasa, a populist leader from the lower class known for his anti-Indian sentiment. During his time he launched the Million Houses program to provide houses for the homeless and started the Village Reawakening Movement to develop ignored rural areas across the country. President Premadasa's people-oriented programs include the Janasavia and Garment Factories program, Ranasinghe Premadasa was assassinated in May 1993 and was succeeded by Prime Minister D.B. Wijitunga and it ended in November 1994 when Wijitunga chose not to contest in the 1994 election. In the 1994 election, the People's Alliance gained control of parliament after 17 years of unbroken UNP rule. 
While in opposition many of UNP stalwarts were killed by an LTTE suicide terrorist attack during an election rally which saw the assassination of Garmini Dissanayak, the UNP's presidential candidate. This paved the way for an easy victory for Chandrika Kumaratunga of the SLFP. Party leadership passed to Jayawadane's nephew, Raniel Wickramasinghe, a relatively young politician with pro-Western views.